Hello and welcome back to the Metasploitable tutorial. In this video, I'll be showing you how to use uh, NetBIOS and this Microsoft DS on port 139 and 445 in order to pop a shell on the Metasploitable VM. Uh, NetBIOS and Microsoft uh, DS, these are the ports that are associated with Samba. And Samba is the Windows uh, file sharing service basically. It's a it's an open source version of the Windows file source sharing so that you can use um, you can use Windows file shares on your Linux machines or connect to them cross-platform. Anyway go ahead and pause the video right now do a little research see if you can figure out maybe some vulnerabilities with these guys here and see if you can pop a shell yourself. All right, welcome back. If you're able to figure out some stuff with the uh, Samba and these two ports, great job. If not, let me show you how I do this. So the first thing that we're going to do is I'm going to open up another terminal real quick and start Metasploit. I'm going to use an auxiliary scanner. We're going to try and get the version of Samba that is running. That'll help us find anything that is vulnerable, figure out if there's any exploits for our current version. So the scanner we're going to use is auxiliary scanner SMB, SMB version. Uh, there it is. So we can see to use this, uh, looks like we just need to put our IP address in, set our hosts to the, oops, to our Metasploitable VM, and we'll go ahead and run this. Okay, and we can see that it's running Samba 3.0.20. So we can go ahead and use search exploit to figure out if there are any exploits for that version. Just search Samba and look for that version, 3.0.20. And it looks like there are two exploits for this. Remote heap overflow. Or we're going to use this one though. And so over here, we can search uh, for that username map script. Let's put Samba in there too. It's kind of important. And we only come up with one, and its rating is excellent. So we're going to go ahead and use this guy. We show options on this one. You can see our port 139. And so it already has the port set for us. We just need to set our hosts to our Metasploitable IP. and run it and we should have a shell and it looks like I am root and it looks like we are in the root of the file system on our metasploitable machine let's just go ahead and verify uh, yep we have MSF admin in our home folder so we are on the metasploitable VM this one is super easy, and um, yeah, it's about as easy as it comes. Thanks for watching.